Thank you, Rich. Checking on Money Matters this morning, Florida is among the top states with the most jobless claims. And the U.S. may take dramatic action today on pharmaceuticals. Jane King joins us with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Hey, Jane. Good morning. Hi, Bruce and Jen. Good morning to you. Yes, the White House preparing an executive order which would require that certain essential drugs be made entirely in the U.S. CNBC reports this executive order could come down today. It will also reportedly encourage government agencies to only buy American-made medical products. Well, Florida, the second most impacted state for weekly jobless claims last week, it has been number one in some of these weeks lately because of its reliance on tourism and hospitality industries that have been especially a hard hit. Uh, jobless filings in the state of 4,100 percent since the pandemic began. Well, Disney has reached an agreement with unions for Walt Disney World to reopen, so this agreement is about safety measures being taken. They do include mandatory masks for workers and guests. Any worker who contracts COVID-19 will be paid while they're in quarantine. Uh, precautions will also include plastic barriers at cash registers, touchless transactions, increased cleaning, safety training, and guest temperature checks. Well, more than half of consumers say they're ready to return to shopping for clothes, but do not want to try on the clothes at the store. First Inside, a digital product testing solution for brands, found two-thirds of women say they wouldn't feel safe doing that. Millennials felt more safe than baby boomers in this survey. Live from New York, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Thank you, Jane.